So today I have one of the Red Hill Tactical drop and offset holsters. Uh, this mount's made by Springer Precision. It's one of the better design mounts I've seen on the market today. A little bit about the holster. This is one of the Cryptek. I believe it's called a Yeti design. It's obviously a white Cryptek. If you go to redhilltactical.com, you can scroll through all the colors. This has the adjustable retention. Um, so if you're wanting to really crank it down on your gun so you can't draw it or it doesn't fall out, you can do that. Just uh, before you get to the line, make sure it's loosened up enough to get your gun out. And we have a couple simple screws here on the back with the washers on. This lets you adjust your, your height and your cant of your holster. Um, one of the great things about this mount is it works with all blade techs. So if you have a blade tech tech lock holster or the other Red Hill tactical holsters, you want to switch it back and forth between IDPA and USPSA or some type of a tactical usage, maybe concealed carry, it's easy enough to do. The other thing is if you don't want to buy a custom pouch from Bob or if you've already bought a custom pouch from just about anybody else out there, as long as it took the Blade Tech tech lock, you are good to go. Now the old model holster with the dropped offset adapter is a proprietary hole pattern which doesn't give enough room for the other two holes. So newer, better, more versatile, this hanger will work with just about anything that's a Blade Tech pattern. And what, a couple of things that I like about the hangers is if we've dealt with the old plate system, such as the one on the uh, old maple leaf drop, it is just two plates. And it's a little clunky to come on and off, and it only uses Allen keys. And all of these are Phillips heads, so they're pretty easy to get to. Um, getting, every, getting everything to line up, what Scott has done is he has machined a set of, uh, we'll call them bosses, I guess, that slide up. So that's what your screw is actually setting in. And it pinches down against this. So however thick your belt is, as long as it's not more than about a half an inch thick, you can get constant, consistent pressure so it'll hold it solid on your belt. And there are four screws that hold that in, the two for your adjustment. Now, if you uh, already have a holster set up just the way you want it, you want to update gear, uh, you want a cool new color of a holster, etc. The simple way that I find to do that is simply set up your old holster on a belt, figure out which holes the two screws go in, and for me, I believe it's going to be this one. I may have to change the height a little bit, but and these are anodized in just about any color that you want to get them in. And just set it up next to the other holster on the belt. I'll spare you the long time process of doing that. And once you get it where you want it, then you just take this one off and slide it up to the position that it used to be. And we'll simply adjust the height, get the butt right for this is going to be for production division, and you'll have your holster set up and ready to go. If you would like to pick up one of these drops, you can go to redhilltactical.com. And if you would click subscribe, you'll see other cool videos, probably some of me shooting this tomorrow at the uh, USPSA match here in Putnam County, West Virginia. If you have any questions, please post them below. Thanks for watching.